Hey piggy people, so today's video I want to share with you what I found in the guinea pig cage just the other day. I was doing our regular spot cleaning when I found a small bladder stone. So it was on a piece of dark fleece and it was kind of off by itself, not stuck within the hay so I could find it. Because otherwise I don't know how you would ever tell what's in hay piles. So I'm going to assume that it's apples. Now everybody's going to wonder is that the stone that was embedded in her urethra? I have no idea at this time. Was it her kidney stone? I have no clue if the herbal pills I've been giving her or the Sherwood urinary tabs have done anything to change that stone because we haven't had a comparison x-ray. So my vet had wanted to not do any x-rays more than every four to six months. So technically we still have another two months minimum before she was wanting to x-ray again. So here's the stone right here. I'll put a syringe by it so you can kind of tell the size. So it's not ginormous but big enough that that would hurt a little piggy. So there was a couple days where Apple was a bit sensitive about me putting her little ointment on her bum. So she gets that tidied up and I put the calendula ointment on to keep urine scald away from her. And there's two days where she was really fussing with me about putting that on where she was actually trying to nip at my hands, which she never does. So I thought that was odd and then, you know, a day later I found the stone, so that's probably what was happening. She was upset and sore. So she seems perfectly fine right now. Um, I'm going to keep weighing her to see if she's going to gain any more weight back. And I messaged my vet about it just to speak about it. But it's very possible that she just, within the last few months, created another bladder stone and that's what came out. It's not necessarily the one that's been stuck in her urethra, although I don't know. And I mean, what are the chances it's her kidney stone? I asked my vet in the email I sent, how small does a stone need to be in order to pass out of a ureter? Because their ureters are much smaller, so I don't even know if that stone would even make it out of a ureter. And her kidney stone, on the x-ray anyway, was too big to pass through the ureter. So, moral of the story is, I don't really know. If it's just another stone she's made, if it's a stone that was already on one of the x-rays, as long as she's doing well, I'm probably going to have to wait, right, still two more week, two more months to get another x-ray. It's not healthy for them to get a ton of x-rays because, you know, you're putting radiation in their body and that could cause other issues. And since the pandemic stuff is going on, uh, the ultrasound technician doesn't come into their office because that was another option that we could do which obviously would be safe to do at any time but that's not an option for us right now so I don't know all I am caring about is that she's comfortable which she seems comfortable it probably was easier to pass this stone because she's on that tramadol and medicam so she's on two doses of pain meds so hey you get out of there. You're such a turd. He just loves to burrow and it drives me bonkers because he's going under dirty fleece. You don't go under there, Huckman. There's beds. You can go under the hay. You can go in tunnels. Okay? He'll try to go under anything that he can. A lot of times you'll find a huge lump right here right in front of the hay boxes under the fleece. And I just hate it, because then he's blocking everybody from getting at the hay box, and he's going underneath dirty liners. Love you, Apple. So I guess that's all I really had to update you guys on. Um, I'm gonna keep an eye on her. I, the only way I think I could tell that she was feeling a lot better than she has been before is if she started putting more weight back on. I think I mentioned the other time she used to be a thousand grams in her prime and then since the whole kidney stone thing she's been at 900 so who knows wouldn't that be cool though if magically her kidney stone shrunk and came out 
but what are the chances? But oh well, at least she got a stone out, that's all I care, and it, she seems very comfortable now. So that's good. Okay guys, so I will talk to you later. Bye! If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!